Hi, good morning. Yeah, this uh, is the Aquila Game Reserve. We uh, spent here the night yesterday. This is uh, Aquila Game Reserve Hotel and Spa. It's only about a two hour drive from Cape Town. We came here yesterday from the most southern point of Africa, at Cape Agalas. If you have been following me up to now, you might know that I am on a tour as backup vehicle with Compass Expeditions, which is a tour operator from Australia, and Sama Tours, who is the local supplier of the BMW motorcycles. We started a few days ago with five motorcycle riders from Cape Town and traveled as far south as we could go, to Cape Agalas. We then traveled up north through the Little Karoo Today we are heading into the Cedarburg Mountains. After a relaxing breakfast, we got packed and headed to Sierras to fill up with fuel. Then we are taking the scenic route through some amazing rock formations here in the Cedarburg to our lunch stop at the Cedarburg Oasis. Today we also start riding all day dirt roads and the scenery promises to be spectacular. Follow me, I'm right behind you. Welcome to the Cedarburg. The beginning of our road through the Cedarburg Mountains. Wow, what a dam. So we're just traveling here through the Cedarburg Mountains. Uh, yeah, the Cedarburg Mountains is a mountain range just uh, north of Cape Town. And uh, it's named after the Clan William Cedar Tree, which is indigenous to this area. So uh, we'll see if we can maybe see some of them. But as far as I know, they're very much endangered. And are protected, so they're quite uh, scarce uh, to find as well. But yeah, today we have a whole day of uh, riding gravel roads. We're going now to the Cedarburg Oasis, uh, which is a uh, lodge and restaurant uh, on this uh, gravel trail. And after that, we will also be visiting some uh, rock paintings and a yeah, some uh, rock formations, very interesting rock formations. So yeah, stick around, it's uh, gonna be a good day. So there's Pete, our uh, photographer. He also stops to take some good pictures of everybody. We'll wait for him in a, a minute, so he can also pass by. Check it out, man! There he goes! The Cedarburg Mountains are a rugged range located about 200 kilometers north of Cape Town, known for their dramatic sandstone formations, ancient rock art and unique biodiversity. One of the most famous rock formations we will visit today is the Stadsal Caves. The Cedarburg is rich in ancient rock art created by the sand people who lived in the region thousands of years ago. Cedarburg Mountains has the ideal climate for farming certain crops. The Olifants River Valley, including Citrus Dal at the edge of the Cedarburg, is famous for its citrus orchards. The Mediterranean climate with hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters is perfect for growing oranges, lemons and narches, which is a type of a mandarin. Not sure if you can see that far, but up there, this uh, where the dust is going, that's where all the bikers are going up the mountain now. And they're uh, just right behind them. Yeah, 
they are growing olives in the Cedarburg. Some people picking the olives here in the orchards. So we made it to the top of the pass. Going all the way from down there. We're still going all the way up there. It's a little bit of a difficult pass to cross over with a big trailer. But uh, of course for a vehicle like this, no problem. So let's go to the Cedarburg Oasis to have some lunch. Citrus Dahl's economy is heavily reliant on citrus farming and the region is a major supplier of citrus fruits to both local and international markets. The fruit is often hand-picked to ensure quality and freshness. Many citrus farms in the region offer tours and tasting sessions, allowing visitors to experience the farming process firsthand and enjoy fresh, locally grown fruit. Are all oranges, or it could even be mandarins, lemontines. The Cedarburg is home to some of South Africa's highest vineyards, with elevations reaching up to 1,000 meters above sea level. The altitude, combined with the unique terroir, results in wines with intense flavors and a distinct character. The Cedarburg wine estate, for example, is renowned for its Sauvignon Blanc, Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon, which have won numerous awards. The cool climate and slow ripening process produce wines with excellent aging potential. Wine tasting in the Cedarburg is a must-do activity, where visitors can enjoy stunning views of the mountains while sampling some of the region's finest wines. Cedarburg is one of the best places in South Africa for stargazing. Thanks to its remote location and minimal light pollution, the Cedarburg Astronomical Observatory offers visitors the chance to explore the night sky through powerful telescopes guided by knowledgeable astronomers. During these tours you can see planets, star clusters, nebulae and distant galaxies making it an unforgettable experience for both amateur and seasoned astronomers. See the Burke Oasis. We're going to have some lunch here. See the Berg Oasis. Seated work oasis. It's like a restaurant and a camping, and you got even accommodation here as well. Very nice uh, stopover point if you're traveling through Cedarburg from uh, Sirius to uh, Glen William. Yeah, so you can even come spend the night here 
very nice secluded quiet here in the middle of the Cedarburg. Beautiful gardens here, lots of trees, lots of shade. These little pepper trees here behind me. Let me show you the pepper. Pepper still growing on the on the tree here. And I saw a bit of fig tree as well, some jacaranda trees, and some orange trees down there as well. And there is even a uh, open chuck cactus. And then the speck boom, speck boom, it's an uh, open chuck cactus, makes us uh, prickly pear. After lunch at the Cedarburg Oasis, we continued deeper into the Cedarburg Mountains to visit the Matches River Bushman paintings and the Stutzal Caves. I have been there before the previous year. This year I stayed by the gate while the riders went into the conservancy. It's a really spectacular to see and I can really recommend to see my video from last year or if you can visit the caves yourself. The Stadsal Caves are among the most famous sites where you can see well-preserved paintings depicting animals, human figures and abstract shapes. The Sun Rock art is not just art, it's a historical record of their beliefs, rituals and daily life. These paintings are an essential part of South Africa's cultural heritage and offer a glimpse into the lives of its earliest inhabitants. From August to September, the Cedarburg comes alive with a stunning display of wildflowers, including rare species of Feinbos and Proteas. This is part of the Greater Cape Floral Kingdom, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its incredible biodiversity. For nature enthusiasts, the flower season is a prime time to visit the Cedarburg. Guided tours are available that focus on the region's unique flora, including the rare Snow Protea and the endemic Glenmedium cedar. Good, Pete. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Sweating like a turd in a vinyl handbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, from here on, it's all scenic. All scenic? All scenic, yeah. Right, you right. all love this, uh, this scenery. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna get into Clan William and by the Clan William Dam. It's that long piece of river as well. I'm not sure which river actually flows there into the Clan William Dam. I think it's Olifants River. One it of is those. Olifants. Olifants, yeah. Cool. Rooibos tea is also a world famous product that is exclusively grown in the Cedarburg and surrounding areas. This herbal tea, known for its rich, earthy flavor and health benefits, is naturally caffeine free and packed with antioxidants. Rooibos is harvested from the wild bush Aspalantis linearis and is cultivated on farms. The plant is cut, bruised to activate fermentation and then sun-dried, which gives it its characteristic red color and flavor. This is where they are growing rooibos tea. Rooibos tea, this is the only place in the world where uh, rooibos tea can be uh, grown. Rooibos has been a staple in South African households for generations and has gained international popularity. Visiting a rooibos farm offers a unique insight into this fascinating crop.
Our next stop was at the Clan William, where we stayed at the Clan William Lodge. the end of the video if you liked it please like and subscribe see you next time